sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. All right, everyone. We are back in our Ravenclaw playthrough with Susie Q. We just got back from Hogsmeade, and I honestly don't really know what we're doing today. Uh, apparently, we have a new quest, and we have some mail. Received an owl poke. Where was the owl? They can't um, do some owl flying in to get us our mail. Just shows up. So from Professor Fig. Come and see me. Have discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. About time. So we have to go see Professor Fig. I imagine we've got some more classes to do and some exploring. Revelio. Oh, we do have an owl. That's something, I guess. Hello oh, there. The with the map. Perhaps you can help oh, me. Hello. Were you calling me? I was, yes. Thought you might be interested in joining me for a bit of an adventure. Following a treasure map, to be precise. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Oh, Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. That's good. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Got a dragon statue and a door behind it, behind some tree. So around the rhinoceros skeleton. Uh, we need to... I guess that's Asio on this painting of a shack in the snow with some trees by Hecate's classroom. This looks like the portrait from the map. Now, where's the treasure? Asio! Aha! There was a doorway hidden within the portrait. Magic doorway. I wonder what came of Arthur's search. Story in you. Find anything yet? Yep. Hello, Arthur. Thought you might like to know that my map led to a doorway hidden within a portrait. Oh, how clever! Mine led to the boathouse. Barely found the treasure before I saw the headmaster coming. He shooed me out of there, but not before I got a few galleons richer. What did you find? I found what I believe is an authentic historian's uniform. Oh, that's lucky! Seems as though we both had success. Glad I enlisted you to join me. Well, on to the next Hogwarts mystery. Wonder if a quick rummage round weaving bubble might yield anything interesting. Well, we just keep getting scarves. I don't think I need that many scarves. Alright, where was that other side quest? Oh, courtyard, I believe. Nice to see you, my young friend. I don't know why they put a talking statue of her. The Dedalian keys are back. Aren't they brilliant? Sure. Is everything all right? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm just. <sighs> I'm Nelly, by the way. I'm just so excited that the Dedalian keys are back. The what keys? The Dedalian keys. Surely you've seen them flying about. Rumour is that a former headmistress, Professor Mole, conjured them to protect the contents of certain locked cabinets years ago. Professor Black couldn't be bothered to disenchant the keys, and they appear every few years. You should try to catch one. Why would I do that? Each key will lead you to a locked cabinet somewhere in the castle. If you can manage to get the key into the cabinet lock, not an easy task, you may find a reward. 
Why would Professor Mole conjure flying keys? What I heard is that it had something to do with keeping peeves out of things. But that may or may not be true. He's a poltergeist. I thought they could go almost anywhere. Surely you'll be trying to complete the challenge as well. Ah, uh, I've tried, and I can't even get past the first cabinets. Perhaps you'll have better luck. I'd love to know what's in the cabinets. Perhaps I'll give it a go. I hope you do. In fact, I think I heard one of the keys in the astronomy tower. You should listen for them. Astronomy tower? I hope you follow a few keys at least. If you manage to open a cabinet, I'd love to know what you find, if anything. A Dedalian uh, key. Wonder where it might lead me. Off on another adventure, are we? Guess it just went over here. Here's something. Bavelio. Ah. There's the cabinet. How do I get this key in there? See, we gotta slap it when it's over the keyhole. Whoops. Oh, it moves really quick over that keyhole. Excellent! That was close enough. An old coin. Perhaps Nelly knows coin. what it means. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? Hello, Nelly. Yep, I managed kinda. to get a Dedalian key into its lock. Brilliant! What did you find in the cabinet? A curious token of some sort. Looks like some sort of house token. I bet it unlocks house chests. I call them house chests. I've seen the one in Gryffindor and heard they're also in the other common rooms as well. Keep an eye out. Ah. I do hope you continue on. For okay. so much effort, the prize must be something grand. I should see back. this through and find the Ravenclaw house chest. Where's that chest at? Oh, right there. This must be my house ch Seems I'll need to find more house tokens if I'm to open this. Quite a few by the look of it. Yeah, that's a big old stack of coins. So, I guess they don't mean that to be done anytime quickly. Just keep an eye out for those flying keys. I think all we have left is Professor Fig. Storyline nonsense. Maybe they stay the same. You gotta wait for him. We're just sitting on the floor. <laughs> Professor, I'm glad to see you. And I you. Thank Merlin you're in one piece. I heard about the attack. Trolls in Hogsmeade? Sir, the trolls were wearing armor. It had that dark glow, like the dragon collar. Goblin silver! Ranrock used it to control the dragon. But how? And why send trolls to... They were there because of me. I overheard Ranrock talking with Victor Rookwood. Ranrock was in Hogsmeade with Rookwood. The trolls were Ranrock's distraction so that Rookwood could get to me, and he would have, had Serona and the patrons at the Three Broomsticks not intervened. This is great news indeed. If Ranrock's goblins and dark wizards are after you, they want what we found in that vault. Well, obviously. Speaking of the vault, do you think that Ranrock is working with any of the goblins at Gringotts? I do not. Gringotts goblins aren't typically the friendliest of beings, but they have a great deal of integrity. No, I dare say after what happened to that poor banker, the goblins at Gringotts are no followers of Ranrock. They're after the locket. You said you discovered something in it. Yes, yes. I discovered an inscription. When I read it aloud, this map appeared. Clever enchantment. It's a map of Hogwarts, to be sure, but I do not know where it leads. It leads to the library, the restricted section to be precise, and a bit beyond. I see traces of magic there on the map. I suspected you would see something. 
Shall we go? I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I'm eager to discover what we may find there as well. But if our experience at Gringotts, let alone what happened to Miriam, taught me anything, it's that the path we're on is terribly dangerous. I'd like you to work with Professor Hecate a bit before we continue. But, sir, how dangerous could the library be? Perhaps we're only after a book. Perhaps we are only after a book, but we should be prepared for anything. Once you've honed your defensive magic further, come and see me. I'll let Professor Hecate know to expect you. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Uh, Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. You oh, may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing how much students don't think their professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. You know where to find me once you've finished. We shall no, see who shows up. Task. I know, Sebastian, I know. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations to practice. Ready to have a try now? That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. <laughs> Keep trying! Levios! <laughs> Next time, perhaps. Yeah. You'll get it. Nicely done. Let me also. Excellent form. Let me open. That was something. Accio. You looked good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. You'll be a fearsome challenger now. Yeah, my weakness is following instructions. So let's go to the second Hello, round. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready for another round? Sure. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Uh, sure. Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Ready to get thrashed? Apologies in advance. There's three of them. That's not fair at all. Break through violent shields with four spells like Summoning Charm, Asio, and Target Lock, three. Akio, act like a winner. Lumos. Oracle Momentum, what's going on now? Lumos. 
I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you, but after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Yep, the next round is for all the gobstones, so to speak. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecket. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Let us begin. And remember, Focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate and keep your wand steady. Now what do we need to burn? enough spells that you'll need to equip Incendio to your spell set. To do this, you need to swap it with a different spell. Okay. Good work. So, probably Reparo. To use your spell item, you must first add it to the spell set. Add Incendio now. Hover over Incendio and hold R2. Tap the corresponding face button of where you would like to place it. Only have four spells at one time? That seems a little low. All right. Unlock the rewards available in the challenge menu. Okay. Now we can go over to what's his face? Professor Fig. Levioso! Incendio! Whoa. Yeah, you do have to be careful with that one. When there's a cooldown, that's what it is. Getting it! Keep at it! And do try not to incinerate yourself! No, it's more the furniture I'm worrying about. This guy again. Spare a moment? I could use your help. Sure. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Oh, they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think since I have been in the hidden herbology corridor. 
the hidden herbology corridor? Yes. Rumour has it that the herbology professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. <laughs> what sort of plant should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Why doesn't he just go in there and get it? Ah. Uh, let's burn it. Incendio! Guess we're gonna need incendio in here. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Yeah, it's just a little broken down. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Yep, Hermione taught us that. It's like the rats from Plague Tale. I haven't played that game, but I have seen it. What else? It's the next plant. Just a lot of this stuff. What's up these stairs? Anything? Yeah, some torches we could light. Incendio! Lumos! Incendio! Does the torches work? Can we jump that? Can we ASIO the chest? Or can we repair -o? Ah, of course. How do we get our spells back? Oh, we can't open our thing? Snare, that's what it is. Levioso! Incendio! That's the one I wanted. Lumos. I guess I shouldn't have gotten rid of Reparo. Jump it. Jump it. We get formal uniform. Before. I have to roll off. I don't know if people are scared of going in here. All I'm gonna do is have a light on. Get through here with a flashlight. I think I would carry a flashlight as a wizard. You wouldn't have to. You know, boost your arm or cast your light. You figure they'd have something that just like a board that floats above your head. Let me answer. Lumos. This thing is definitely going to get at me. Incendio! Lumos. Lumos. Incendio! Lumos. Seems the Devil's Snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Lumos. This is 
Oh, come on. It's not a waterproof uh, light. Bleach goggles. It's not really that much better than the glasses we've got at the moment. Which are terrible. Incendio! Lumos. Incendio! Lumos. Incendio! Lumos. Rebellion. Lumos. Oh, well, that's what will protect you while you're in the water. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. What about us? We don't get proof of our bravery? We're the ones that actually came in here. Just to get some money. Incendio! Lumos. Is there any more? Get past this thing without getting eaten. And that's the quick way out. Yep. So, how do we get it? Um, I don't have any stunning. Nope. Incendio! Levioso! Walk up to it. Lumos. Making that, making that out to be too hard. Let's just get out of here. We got a couple things. We got the little ones in here. Is it based on time or is it based on things? Have you found done? anything to uh, prove my brain? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff's in Dunkin for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more Puff's in Dunkin for me. Waiting again. This guy's never in his office. Ah, there you are. Well, yeah, we were sitting on the floor waiting for you. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Guess we get to go alone, then. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. What do you got to say, Sebastian? Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? I've never even met him. Perhaps he mistook me for another student. If you say so. I won't press you now, but you will have to tell me what's going on at some point. You might need me. So, why were you looking for me? I need to find something for Professor Fig. But it's in the restricted section of the library. <laughs> he can't get it himself? He was called away by Black at the last moment. I suppose I could wait to get a note from him, but... You want to show some initiative? Precisely. 
You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight, and tell no one. What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. I guess it's later now. See there? That's the door we need to reach. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean, I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Hope that works on those chests too. right we push. So let's see. I guess we'll swap it for Alohomora. Or not Alo um for light up spell. Why can't I think of it now? This one. Lumos. That shouldn't have been as difficult as it was. Alright. We must remain unseen. Nearby adversaries will sense and then investigate a suspicious behavior. Being caught by authorities, figures will result in quest failure. Usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Wait, why do we need a key? Isn't there a spell for this? Aloha Mora. That's how I always used to get in. But the librarian twigged that I knew the spell and cast an anti Alohomora charm on the lock. So now it's just this key. But don't worry. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Aren't I the one? So, I'm getting myself in? You're just giving me the information I need to get myself in? Where's your distraction? Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Better not. The library is no place for love. Goodness 
gracious, what a mess! Well, that's my first failure. Yeah, we'll try that again. I guess we shouldn't be sitting right there in the open. Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. If it is a book we're after, we didn't really know that. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. It's fooled me twice. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. Basic cast while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Aim mode L2 grants precision spell targeting and reveals additional spell targets. Okay. Ghost, don't let her see you. What ghost? I don't see the ghost. Oh, she's over there. So we want to go that way. Oh, past the ghost. So, I guess we want her to go over there. No. Just have to wait for her to get more closer to the armor. Okay. Maybe she just bugged out the first time. I do hope there's a, a, a different way out of here. Should be in the clip. There's no need for us to be skulking about. If you say so, so, what though. is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return Rebellion. to her. Because Merlin knows everyone else. Shanty books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Do not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content being spectacular drivel of no educational value whatsoever. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No! We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. Which is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. I'll be quieter than a job and all. Yep, looks like it is good enough. 500. Yeah. So those chests are where it's at. We want to interact. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Oh. It's a slither. We didn't actually read it. I wish we could run. else 
in here. Shit, I almost missed. It's like the same one we already have. Who have we here? Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. <laughs> that was to be expected. Oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. Now go. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Yeah. Gotta repair it. Repair it. Repair, I know it was supposed to be up there. Here, I was just gonna lift it. Ha! Russet Motley garb. It's not as good, hey? An even more restricted area. A bit foggy down here or something. Yeah, this place doesn't look dangerous at all. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. That's it. Ancient magic room. Ancient magic room. No one else can get me in here. Ha ha ha. It's not locked. It's a big old chest. Flamboyant cloak. Yes, thank you. Yep, definitely want to put that on. Boy, that is kind of flamboyant. Once again, our outfit does not match at all. I hope we get that transmog. Available soon. We have to have the room of requirement to access it. That's my guess. Where might this lead? Well, it's the only way to go without getting caught. So we're off. at the ready. Now we're getting it. 
amount of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Yeah. When at least one segment of your ancient magic meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks that deal massive damage and break shield charms. Tap L1, R1 when you see the prompt over an enemy's head. That's what I was doing. We're just going to use a potion for right now, just in case. we got plenty. This must be the way forward, but to where? I don't see any turns to take yet, so... What are you, Ricky? No? Ah. I guess it's gonna go back, eventually. We gotta hit it again. Nearly there. Best keep my wits about me. And there's going to be some kind of battle. They're giving us all that. Yeah. I'm sure these guys are going to wake up in a second. Didn't realize they were all going to wake up. I thought just those two were. Let me 
first. It Go is a book time. after all. It is a book. Just a very well protected book. Guy. You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I have never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this lot. powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. That was kind of an evil look. Maybe they just animated it poorly. Sebastian! Yeah, we need new glasses badly. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, 
Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. Very upstanding person. What letter. will your uncle say? <laughs> Flying key in the restricted section. Get that at some point. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and leave this here for now. Because I'm already going to have to cut quite a bit out to make this video an actual watchable length. So, hope you liked it. If so, push that like button, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see a full extended version of this playthrough, episode 5, because I'm going to be cutting out a lot of the side quests, I believe, just to get the runtime down. But thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.